In this video, I'll show you how to scan documents on your iPhone. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Scanning documents on your phone is super simple because then you can quickly go and store them or email them or do whatever you want with them. So we can actually do this without downloading any other apps on our phone as well. So the app you just need to use is the Notes app. And by default, this will have come on your phone. If you think you've gone and deleted it, then you can always go and open up the App Store and go and download it again. However, I've already got it. So go and open up the Notes app like so, and then go and create a new note. And then once you're in a new note, just go and tap on it. So you go and bring up your keyboard. And the button you need to go and press is the camera icon just above the keyboard, just here. And when you tap there, as you can see, we then get a range of different options. One of them being scan documents. So go and tap there like so. And this is then going to go and bring up your camera. Make sure you're in a well-lit environment as well, just to go increase the quality. And also it's probably worth having a different background color. So like maybe like a wooden table, which was doing the scanning in on, uh, just to make it easier for the camera to go detect what the document is and where the table is in the background is. I'm using a white desk, which isn't ideal, but it should be okay. Then all you need to do is just lift your phone above the document. So I've just got this manual here. And as you can see, it then puts this yellow sort of outline and literally it scans it just like that. And it's gonna be automatic. You can go and use the manual mode uh, in the top right. As you can see at the moment, it's set to auto. Set it to manual if you'd like, but I prefer auto. And then all you want to do is go to the next page, which is the table of contents, place your camera above it. And just like that, it then goes and scans it in and we're making good progress. So what you can now do is go say to the bottom left and click here and you can go and view what you've currently scanned in. And if you're happy with it, then go and press done in the top left. And if you're then sort of finished, then just tap save in the bottom right. And then as you can see, we can now go and look at our scan documents. Now, if you're finding they're a bit wonky like this, then we can go and fix this. All you need to do is go to the bottom left and tap on sort of the crop icon, the two lines. And then what we can do is actually go and edit this. As you can see, you can go and change where these dots end. So let me just go and make it a bit bigger like this. And that's getting better. And then once you're happy with it, go and press done. And then it's gonna go and realign it. And that is much better. I could go and make further edits as well. And then to share it, maybe in an email or something like that, then all you need to do is make sure you've clicked on the document like this, and then go and tap on the share button in the top right. And you can then choose who you want to share it with. If you found this useful, leave a like, peace.